Hello and welcome to Z Reviews. And before we begin, uh, I'd like to thank my sponsor for this video, Linsol, who also is the one who sent me this product, which I don't like to do that, but I've got so much stuff to do, it's just, it's just gonna work out. Besides, they want me to promote this uh, sale they have going on from June 18th to I think the 22nd, and I'm just scrolling through it, like thumbing through it, and it just never stops scrolling. So feel free to go check out all the things for sale on Linsol. That's not a bad price for that. There's a lot of, like, there's literally things I reviewed the last few days are on here at, like, 12. It's still going. Stop loading. Civica P2s, 431. Civica o SVO 21s for 161. That's up there. So, yeah, check out the Linsol links in the description, which you're going to link to anyway because we're reviewing the Shanling MW200. Singer SA1, 569. I also saw the HO200. Like, my desk is built out of the stuff on this Linsol sale. I don't think I got a special promo code. I think it's just the sale. So go check out the sale. Uh, is this ever going to end? Wait, did I get to the bottom? Nope, nope, it's still loaded. All right, we got to stop. Anyway, where are we? We're going back. We're going back to music. Music. Where the hell's my music dump? There's my music dump. Dogs of War. Pink Floyd. Uh, what I decided to review today is something that it doesn't bother people, but they don't seem to like take it seriously. When I reviewed the IFI Go Blue, everyone was like, oh my God, Zios, I want to suck that little Go Blue's dick. Well, good luck. It's very small. I don't know if you'll ever find its dick, but I'm sure it has one. And then when I reviewed the FIO UTWS 5s, like these things, everyone was like, oh my God, Zios, dicks, suck them. But yet when I reviewed like this, this is the uh, the Ico Arc neck thing that powers IMs. I don't even know what to call it. It's a strange thing. It's like, all right, this goes around your neck, and then there's these two boxes, and they got buttons, and you charge it up, and then it runs either IMs or if you have adapters like this, which I'll link to these MMCX to 3.5 millimeter adapters. There's actually two different types, MMCX. But like, no one's interested in that. Or how about this one? What was the model number of this one? This Fio one that I read, the LC02, which was like a silicone band. And look, look, the the what I think are the pinnacle Fios, the Fio uh, FH7s are on here permanently because you throw this around your neck and it's got the buttons here and then it goes up and it powers IEMs. Great. So why? Oh God, I got to take the variations out of my head because I've been I'm going variations today. So here, finally, we've got another one. I'm trying to pause music there, and music is here. Or I could pause it with the button, because that's what the button does. This is a fucking Shanling, all right? This is the MW200. I believe it's the MW200. Which, the problem with calling something the MW200, it's a, that's milliwatts, is MW. And this is only $107.10. It might be because it's on sale, because of the sale. Please join the sale. So. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's a neck amp DAC. So take what's in an IFI Go Blue, or take what's you know can go around your ears with this, put it around your neck, and make it amplify IEMs or headphones with the right adapters. So I don't know why this isn't a bigger thing, because People have asked me, why don't I do the little like string ones, the ones that plug into an IEM, and then they're just a, a cable with a little thing on it. Um, I did that really expensive one uh, that, you know, I forget the name of it, but it was, you know, it had a huge box on it. And the problem is the box. The FIO UTWS 5s have actually pretty large things on there. And the IFI Go Blue is probably the smallest of the Bluetooth things and contains the battery and the DAC and the amp and all that stuff. So the neck ones, here's the thing about the neck ones, they have way more room. When you limit someone to like, okay, you know what? Can you build me a computer? And they're like, sure, I'll go on Newegg and I'll order a motherboard. No, 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 no. I want to build a computer inside of a Mica RB42. And then it's like, oh fuck, the challenges appear. So what happens when you take away the limitations? Like, hey, I want you to build a computer in a garage. You can do more. So having a giant, having 
wires that can go back and forth to two separate units that are in rather large housings, but they don't bother you that they're large. Like if this was like what the the BTW UTWS five was, this massive thing, you wouldn't want to have that behind your head. So these units have big fucking batteries. They could fit a AAA battery in there that was lithium polymer, but they don't. But they could fit all they need for the amplifier. They can make the entire thing the antenna for the Bluetooth. They can fit a large battery. They have plenty of room to work with for control surfaces and other things. So this is probably the best solution still for portable audio. And you want to hear another fucking weird joke? So they all charge with USB-C. This one has a little door on it that opens in the bottom. This one has a little door on it. Where, oh, this one just has an opening there for USB-C to charge it. And this one on the bottom just has a USB-C pointing down. Uh, th this one will, and this is the only one that's ever read this. I don't know if the other one's capable. You can plug that USB-C in and poke it up to a PC and it becomes a USB DAC amp. And you can avoid Bluetooth altogether. Just want to get that out there, at the, like right now, because I'm going to forget that, and that's the weirdest shit. Because where that is located does not make it a comfortable spot for a wire to come off. Um, it would be much easier on something like this on the side. It's small. Um, I love the Fio came with this case because it's like that's not too big. That that's that's decent, and you can fit all the IMs you need in the middle and the charging wire if you wanted to. So I love the Fio LC. What's your model number? LC-BT2. That's why I didn't remember it. Um, I threw the variations on here, and these are one of my favorite IMs. If you, if you haven't thought about the Moondrop variations, it's because you haven't uh, touched Jesus with your soul. And then he would have been like, yeah, buy those Moondrop variations, brah. Brah. Check them out. Base. I don't have to sell Moondrop. I'm not here to talk about the Moondrop variations. We know how great they are. I'm here to talk about the Shanling MW200 and how great it is. Because Bluetooth 5, um, LDAC, and then the like the hardware accelerated LWA codec, aptX low latency, all the codecs, anywhere between 11 and 14 hours of battery life, depending on which it connects with. What are, 500 hours of standby time. I'm just reading specs from my head. 500 hours of standby time. So you just, you just turn it off and it just sits there. Uh, probably the best control surfaces of all of these. Because these are the three. These are the three. I had these pre-COVID. I had these sitting around my apartment while COVID was happening. And now, congratulations, COVID's over. By the way, wallpaper available in the wallpaper board. Let's go about this. Thank you, Linsol, again for sending this out. So the control surfaces are as follows. This is just a stick. And just like all the... I'm going to wipe it on my sleeve. There you go. Just like all the Shanling products, and I just did that little Shanling dongle DAC that was like, ooh, fuck, that sounds like a Shanling DAC amp. DAC amp. Glass on the outside. There's an N logo here, because if you wanted to, to pair it, you'd use a near-field communication on this side of it to pair. I can't get all the grease off. It's on my neck. Uh, it's got the same problem as both of these other ones, where I don't like... The, there's the strain relief of this wire. That's the only problem that's universal with this sort of thing, is that they all come out with little silicone wires, and it's just right there. And at least this has like a rubber baby buggy bumper. It actually might have the best system because there's just a, a hole, and this whole bit here is soft silicone, so it can stretch around it and not get janked. One of the nice things is you just take your IRMs out and you drop them, and they just hang in front of your chest. Um, so this side has nothing but the NFC. It doesn't even have the charge port. It would be nice if that had at least that. Then this other side, the left side, again, glass here, charge port here, and it has this button, which just flashed green to indicate that it is currently playing. Let me see if I can get the flash green again. There it is. Ooh. So that's your play, pause, answer phone calls, all sorts of shit. you got a single rocker, forward for higher volume, hold for next track, next track, Raise the volume up. It has independent volume from the phone or whatever your device is. So I max out my phone. And I can control here, which is much more fine, much more finite. And then your actual power button is up here, and there's your microphone. I didn't know that Knowles, like the makers of the balanced armatures, make a microphone. But this has a Knowles microphone in it. So when you're making phone calls, if you are a business-type person that wants to work from home, buy this. Put in whatever IMs you want. Make your phone calls with it. 
sounds fucking glorious. Like people are gonna be like, oh my God, your phone sounds so good. Did you? Cause this is at the right spot. It's on your neck, right where like a phone would be. Some of these other ones like, like this, I think has a microphone where, like there, like there's the microphone. So if you're making a phone call, you gotta be like, yes, hello, how are you doing? Cause you put this in your pocket, it's not where it belongs. Even the UTWS uh, fives, the microphones are up somewhere behind your ears. So great for fucking phone calls. And then I guess, I guess we gotta get to, when I did the review of the Zen Pro, which probably hasn't come out yet, because I'm putting this video out first, I do the, um, the Dunu Zen Pros. And those are a $900 flagship IEM. Not that the variations are cheap, but like five or 480. But those things are the telling story of an amplifier. And I had them on these for fucking two weeks because I didn't need more. This sounds like a Shandling DAP. It's got enough power to push almost, I mean, I'll go deaf. I haven't reached the maximum with it, unless I pull out like a tin P1 or something, something that's really hard, plain hard to drive. And it's just the most convenient, because here, you ready? You, you would hold the button, turn it off and on, it connects immediately. You, dr you throw this thing over your neck. It's sitting there now, you can't even see it. Look at the wallpaper instead. And then I just reach down and even to look. Boom, there my IMs. Change that song. Oh my God. You can get this also in MMCX or two pin. This is the MM, this is the two pin version. The MMCX version is there, it's the same exact price. However, Highest quality Bluetooth codec, five reviews, five stars. They're both the same price. However, I have these, which are available only on oeaudio.com. And these are two pin to MMCX adapters. That's how I was able to use his ends on there because his ends are MMCX. So either you're gonna spend $120 or $110 twice, or you're gonna spend $29, I think it's free shipping, but they have all these different adapters and, and shorties and then things that make life worth living. So if you have multiple IMs, buy a set of those. Those will gonna get very lost. I'm trying to keep them on the yellow dot. So yeah, please tell me, do you take your IMs out? Are you a not a believer in Bluetooth? Because once you've gone LDAC and this popped up LDAC and was like, yeah, we're gonna try to use the LDAC that's not the highest quality, but the one that's more stable. And I'm like, fuck that, highest quality. Because it's literally never gonna be more than three feet from my neck. My phone will be in my pants, my pants will be around my neck, and my, wait. Yeah, I wanna pimp this. I wanna thank Linsol again for being our sponsor of this video. Links to the Linsol sale ending on the 22nd of June. Um, I'll be at Chicago Can Jam, by the way, for those of you who are not aware. Um, I might be there right now. Wait, when does it start? It starts the 18th. Okay, yeah, I might be there. Hi, say hi to me, I'll be there um, with pasta. But this is the sort of shit that it's like, what a simple little design that you can use any IM with some adapters. You can switch it over to 3.5 millimeter for a lot of headphones. Like I could run goddamn Stelias, Stelias GL2000s. I could run the Sendy Audios. Are those, those are 2.5 millimeter, aren't they? God damn it. Harmonic Dynes, Harmonic Dyne. I could run the Harmonic Dyne uh, G200s on this. Plus the, they have more power than this sort of unit. Similar power to the, I mean, let's, let's face it, the IFI Go Blue is a actually ridiculous unit. You don't get any bass boost or anything. If you're interested in that, you would need to get something else. But for just pure convenience, you could hang this up on your doorknob right before you leave, grab it, run it. If you haven't listened for 11 hours today, it'll probably still work tomorrow without charging it. I kind of wish it had wireless charging Maybe it can come with like a little hook and wireless charge right here. I don't know if these are like a pad, but ooh, that would be so fucking cool. The only thing this is missing is some sort of, wait, do I have it? I'm not sure. I think this might've come with some sort of bag. And I, what does it say it on the website? Cause I've been using it so much. I haven't like thought about it and it doesn't show pictures of it here on Linsol. Hurry up, the sale ends in five days, 17 hours and 27 minutes. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, it uses an AKM DAC, by the way. The AKM 4377A. Transmission distance up to 10 me meters. The Knowles Sisonic microphone. Um, it's output power 
at 16 ohm is 38 milliwatts. And at 320 ohms, it's what? 26 milliwatts? That's all confusing and broken. Don't look at that. It's got one ohm output impedance. Anything else, 99% separation, 0.004% distortion. Charge time takes two hours. What's in the box? Nothing, it doesn't say. Anyway, this is a good review because it's a product I actually use, like Zeos and Zeos Life. I want to review it and it just happens to be from a, a place that's uh, sponsoring this channel. So I, I try not to make the sponsored videos uh, overlap with the product because then it feels like they're paying me for this review. They're not. They're just sponsoring the channel because, well, I keep them going and they keep me going. And then the waifus can flow. Fuck that spice shit. The waifus can flow. Anyway, so link to these. I'll link to the other two as well if I can even find them. This one's pretty old. This one's sort of stopped being sold. There always needs to be one of these that's available and good. And Ico is like, all right, that's a that's not a company that I usually think about when I think about like DAC amps and portables. Fio certainly is. BTR fives and they all their portable line, and then you get channeling, which is like the be all end all of portables. The only thing I want to see now is an Ibasso version of this, and then we're good to go. An Ibasso, and then I would even, I will allow a fucking cord, a chord mojo neck strap one. I'll do it. I will do the. I'll buy it with, with cash money, if if cord makes one to put around my neck. It'll be ridiculous. Could you imagine where the marbles would go? Anyway, I'm done. Links to this, li uh, not linked to that, but linked to the wallpaper hoard where you can get that and all the wallpapers I've ever used ever. It's almost, a little over two gigs. Um, music's happening, online is happening. Thank you for everyone. Patreon, subscribe star. When Linsol is not supporting this channel, you guys are. You guys can pay to see reviews early, participate in yard sales on the 1st and 10th of every month, and I will ship items internationally for half shipping. So if you live in Bangladesh and you want an item, I probably wouldn't sell any of these, but if you want an item other than that that I've reviewed, feel free to jump in there and bid on it. Um, and then you get to loss of sound demos and all the missing sound demos. I actually went through my YouTube videos. 282 videos were blocked worldwide because of copyrighted music just being played in the background. So if you want access to those 282 sound demos or thereabouts, $5 a month gets you in there on Patreon or Subscribestar. $10 a month. Behind the scenes Telegram chat, which is where the people know all the things that are going on. Um, you also attach to that is a lifetime swap me channel for buying, selling, and trading gear. So you get into that. That's actually been a super popular thing. People are joining just for that. Do as a private swap meet with only people who actually have a paywall they can climb. Slightly more trustworthy. Um, and then what else? Anything else? Hi Fi Guides, Hi Fi Guides forums. It's gonna be part of that that big initiative that I'm putting forth, which I have to make that video too. But yeah, we're good. I'm good. You're good. I'm going to literally put these back on and go make dinner while listening to, you know, fucking amazing IMs. Ah, oh, oh, see you next time.